Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the staircases. As we know in Revit we have like few types of the staircases but how we can manipulate with these staircases, what we can do with these staircases and how we can modify we will talk about that in this tutorial. So we will start from the scratch one, I mean, I mean we will start the first from first one type of the staircases where we can find staircases, yes it's a really simple question but it's also main question. Okay, you should find it under uh, architecture. After that, you will go to the uh, to the uh, circulation, and you will find it here the staircase. So let's open up the staircase, and before we will draw something, you should understand like few things. First, from which location you will start your staircase? From the left side or the, from the right side? Maybe from the middle side. Uh, I will switch on on the uh, some of the um, plan view and I will show you what I mean. So if you will use the location run uh, from the run center, you will see my staircases starting from the center one. Okay, but if you will change your run to the left one, you can see it's starting from the left one. We also can change to, for example, to the right side and you can see on the right side. So this is important because when you will, for example, making your uh, staircase a bit bigger, uh, it will start from this point. So if you are using the right side, uh, your uh, staircase will uh, increase on the left side, you, as you understand. So let's use the left one. So by left one, we can also use the offset for our staircase, but it doesn't matter for now. We can use it at later on. The same thing for the actual running width. We can change it uh, after we will finish our staircase. So also we have the automatic landing. So this thing it's really important and I'll show you how it's working. So now automatic landing is on, I will switch off and I will show you what is mean. For example, when you're uh, starting to creating first um, uh, your first uh, the running, for example to here and after that you wanna uh, turn on the right side. You don't have the running, uh, I mean the, you don't have the landing on this side. Why? Because we have the switch off the create automatical uh, landing. So that's why we don't have it right now, we should create it manually. I will delete that one and I will create it again. So I will use this straight and I will switch on automatic landing. So if I will switch off, you can see, I mean switch on, you can see it's automatically will create on that side. Don't create your staircase like that, because I know some people creating like one running and starting like second running from here, for example, from the middle side. No, it's not will work, because if you will do like this, your landing, as you can see, it cannot create like that we we can create but if uh, we turning like a uh, 90 degree it's not will create it because it's not enough distance so we should create it from the corner so it will be working perfectly as you can see okay so uh, you understand this uh, pretty simple things but i will uh, now explain you more uh, so as you can see i delete my uh, staircase because we should mention on that thing as you can see here desire number of the rises it's 24 so the, this number we should use actual number of the rises it's 10 as you can see but actually it's zero as you can see because i don't have any numbers uh, because i didn't create anything i will switch off my the staircase and i will create it again now you can see it's one because i didn't place any rises yet so let's let's start to create our uh, staircase as you can see when i will uh, like moving to the uh, to the top uh, the number of the rises created it's increasing but remaining it does increase so when your remaining will be zero it means your staircase become to the second level become to the other level so let's make like 11 here and other side we will make the zero so when we will did that go to the uh, dimension and make sure desired number rises equal to the actual number rises so now it's equal so it means the our starting position it's starting from the level zero and our ending position it's the finish on the level one so this is perfect uh, our staircase going from the level zero to the level one it's working uh, let's say uh, as you can see our actual rise is now one for 166 millimeters let's say you wanna increase your actual rises what you can do you should disincrease 
your desired number of the uh, uh, rises. So, for, as you understand, if we have 22, for example, rises, 22 dividing to the 4000, and we will get uh, one, 181 millimeters of the each riser, uh, the height. Uh, but we get warning, it's not error, it's only warning. The Revit like saying, uh, oh my god, your actual rises height is more than uh, the standard uh, specified. It's okay, because we we are specified uh, our um, maximum rise height. I will show you now where is it. Just say okay, select your, uh, uh, your running, go to the edit type, and you will find it here. Oh, sorry, not, you will just don't select any, anything, go to the edit type, and you will find it here. Maximum riser height, as you can see, 170 millimeters, but actual height now, 1,101 oh, millimeter. So we can change, for example, to 200 millimeters, and no one will say anything. So let's say OK, and now everything all right. So we can make even the uh, number of the rises uh, less, like 18, and as you can see, now it's 20, uh, 222 millimeters. And again, we have the we have this warning because we did only 200 millimeters. Anyway, let's say okay. Uh, let's check it out. What's going on now with the hour rises? As you can see, it's 18 plus 6. What does it mean? Because uh, height of our rises now more bigger than we need, right? Uh, we don't need a lot of these uh, rises as we have. We have 24, as you can see. We still have 24, but we said we, we need 18. So if we need 18, we should disincrease this number. Just make sure, select your running, make sure you uh, select this uh, uh, cycle uh, joystick, and let's disincrease it. Like, let's do like this, as you can see, plus 3, so we need m minus 3 more, and minus 1. So now, our staircase starting from the level 1, I mean level 0, and exactly it will become to the uh, level 1 on this position. So let's, I'll show you uh, more uh, understandable, I will create some floors, and we will work with the floors. So here is, will be my level 0, as you can see, let's say OK. And let's create one more floor, and we will create on the level 1. And we will create, for example, here, like that. Let's go now to 3D view, and as you can see, here is level 1, and here, uh, I mean, here level 0, here level 1. It's perfect. Okay, uh, but if we will increase, I mean, if we will increase, let's I will edit my staircase, if we will increase by this uh, this joystick, not that one, not triangle one, I mean the cycle one. If we will increase the on the 3D, you can see it's still going with the same height. So with the 22, 222 millimeters height, each riser is going uh, still going uh, on the top. Okay, so uh, let's go back. I don't need much as I did. I will do like that, and it's actually too big. I will do 22 rises only. As you can see, I did 22 rises. Now my actual rises is 181 millimeter. So if I will go to the uh, 3D, as you can see, it's not enough distance. We should uh, continue it. Let's go to the level and let's continue it. Just select this uh, joystick and drag it till we don't have. We will get 22. Actually, Revit showing you where is 22. As you can see, the this boundary it means 22. Of course, we can continue, but we need only 22. So let's go to the here, let's go to 3D, and as you can see, it's exactly now with the same height. So this is what we want. Let's say OK, and as you can see, the, our rises is here. OK, now you understand, you can manipulate uh, with the height of your rises uh, by number of the uh, of the of the your rises so this is uh, a bit uh, hard because uh, some people working with the uh, height of the rises but here you should work with numbers of the your rises uh, yes it's rabbit we don't have any choice so if you think it's hard <laughs> don't think about that because uh, staircases it's more hard than we uh, than we do that uh, now so I will change for now. I will delete this um, uh, railings. By the way, if you want to know everything about the railings, go to the, my channel and you will find here the 
one, two, three lesson about the railings. It's totally full uh, information about the railings, and you will find inside some links, and you can download some railings and working with that. So go to the my channel, check the railings, and you will see how it's working. But today and other tutorials, we will talk about only about the staircases. So before we will continue, I will do one thing. I will uh, just move my uh, floor because I want to make something interesting and something workable. So it will be like this. Okay, and let's change the type of the staircase. Yes, our staircase is family. Uh, just select your staircase, go to the properties and choose uh, ways our this is part. Mm, cast in place I think it will be better yes let's let's choose that one and as you can see we get already problem so as you can see here it's not enough not enough we should uh, get more uh, risers let's select that and as you can see actual 22 but uh, the design number 24 let's change it to 22 and we will get as we want so but still still as you can see we have here gap so I will show you how we can work with that. Uh, so for that one, I need to go to the plan and I will create some uh, section view. It will be better to understand what's going on. So I will create the section view like this. Okay. And select the sec section view, right click and go to the view. Okay. As you can see, it's not enough. Let's go inside to the uh, edit. Just select your staircase, go to the edit stairs. And as you see, the actually our staircase, it's like... Uh, uh, family inside family. So inside the uh, family star case, we have three families running, landing and supporting. So now we will change our running. We'll select your running distance. And as you can see, we have here the begin with the riser and with the riser. If you will switch off, be, uh, I mean, end with the riser, let's switch off. You will see nothing. If I will switch off the begin with the riser, you will see my riser not beginning with the riser so it's straight one so let's uh, switch on you can see my riser is starting here let's switch on here you cannot see properly what's going on actually we should get like that side so i will i should change the type of the my uh, of the my staircase to the precast let's change the to precast it should be worked no i need i need some um oh we will do it by ourselves it's okay so I will change back it to the uh, cost in the place and we will go to the select your running, go to the edit type. We will do it by ourselves. As you can see here, uh, the treats only one millimeter. Let's make the 10 millimeter and noising 10 millimeter. Let's apply it. As you can see, we get our, uh, our treat here. And default, let's change to the solid brick. For example, now it's too much. Let's make some profile. Let's find some uh, some profile near to what we want. Stair treat. Okay, so this is pretty pretty enough. And let's do the same thing here. Then. No, it's totally not what I want. Actually, I need some uh, radius 20. Let's leave it like that. It's okay. And then we will make the 50 millimeters. So no 50 is too much. Uh, 50 12 millimeters here and 50 here. Let's say okay. No, it's too much also. Let's make it into 10 millimeters only. Okay, and here the rises, I will say okay. And you can see now here we have a rises. And here I will say okay too. So what we did. Actually, when we will switch off our end with the riser, now we don't have the riser. If you will switch on, you see this is like a riser for us. Okay. Uh, here we starting with the riser. And here it's not enough the distance. So what we're gonna do? Uh, actually, again, I will change to 22. I will say okay. And you can see now it's pretty close to the uh, to the our landing. So uh, with that two um, options, you can manipulate with your landing to make it a bit high or a bit uh, down. So, of course, if you will switch off, your your uh, staircase will finish here. If you will switch on, your staircase will finish on this side. So, it's only up to you. Or you can go to the plan and you can just make like plus one. Plus one. Go to the section view and you can see it's exactly on the same uh, level like your landing, but you should switch off that side. Just go to the 
edit with the uh, end with the riser and you will see it's uh, going to the same side uh, let's switch off uh, let's switch off the profile I don't want any profile right now and as you can see we get our position of our staircase on the exactly uh, that side okay what we're gonna do next next I will show you that part let's select our uh, rise uh, our uh, riser or oh, our running and uh, look here where is the, my actual ran width? It's not what I want. Mm, where is that? So actual tree depth. I want to change actual tree depth, but I know I cannot change. Uh, structural depth. Okay, I will change it here. You can see structural depth here. 100, uh, 150. Let's change it to the 250 millimeters. Let's say okay. And you can see it's extruding now. Let's make it 350 millimeters. And you can see it's now going more bigger. So you can manipulate with that parameter too. Why not? You can do that. And for this tutorial, I will show you only one more thing. Uh, this funny thing right now will be because our wave is really uh, so big. Let's go to the edit type of this uh, running. And let's change uh, underside surface from the smooth to the stepped. And you will see now stepped like this of course because we have too big distance we should change it to like 100 millimeters only maybe less and if you will get something like that our construction if i will go to 3d now let's go to 3d we will get like that what you can see right now uh, so as you can see we can manipulate with that we can do everything and in the next tutorial we will continue talk about the staircase because staircase is really really huge topic but anyway you now know simple thing how to manipulate with that so let's continue in the next tutorial to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.